vision is flowing into your life, flowing into your family, and is flowing into your business tonight in Jesus' name. Number nine, prosperity unprecedented. A kind of prosperity you never saw before. Tonight is going to come upon your life in Jesus' name. Number 10, progress unhindered. Nobody will hinder your progress again. Enemies clear out of the way. All enemies clear out of his way. Clear out of her way. Because from tonight, progress unlimited, un unhindered in Jesus' name. Look at this, look at this. Tonight, there's promotion unstoppable. Promotion unstoppable. And after God has given you all these things, and then at last, number 12, there's going to be paradise unending. I will get there. I said I will get there. I said I will get there. You will get there in Jesus' name. Tonight, the fullness of the Spirit. Tonight, the outpouring of the Spirit. Acts of the Apostles chapter 6. Acts of the Apostles chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 8. And Philip, full of faith and of power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. That power is transferred unto you. That power is given unto you tonight. And it shall be in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 24. Acts chapter 11, verse 24. It says in Acts 11, verse 24. It says over here, For it was a good man. Grace has come to his life. It was a good man. Somebody there, grace is flowing into your life. The mercy of God is flowing into your life. Forgiveness is flowing into your life. Freedom is flowing into your life. Good man. Good man. Good woman. What are you? The Lord make you good without any contradiction in Jesus' name. I'm full of the Holy Ghost and of faith and much people was added unto the Lord. Addition has come. Addition has come. Supernatural in every one of your lives in Jesus' name. Now you are ready. Miracle, you are ready. Freedom, you are ready. Salvation, you are ready. Answers to your prayer, you are ready tonight. John chapter 15. John chapter 15. I'm reading here from verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. I am chosen tonight. I said I am chosen tonight. And ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit shall remain. And that whatsoever. Who is that? And whatsoever. Who is this talking about? And that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. I receive. I said I receive. You have it in Jesus' name. John chapter 16 verse 23. John chapter 16 verse 23. And in that day he shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, certainly, certainly, assuredly I say unto you, whatsoever, whatsoever, are you ready to pray? Whatsoever, are you sure it's going to answer you? Whatsoever, are you sure you are going to have the fullness tonight? And whatsoever, are you sure of your healing tonight? And whatsoever, are you sure of your deliverance tonight? And whatsoever, whatsoever, you shall ask the Father in my name. Complete it yourself. Complete it yourself. 
Say that again with assurance. He will give it to you. Your prayer is answered already. You are going to praise God tonight. You are going to rejoice tonight. Because whatsoever, 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 you will ask tonight, you have got it. Your miracle is confirmed. Your healing is confirmed. The outpouring is confirmed. Rise up and take it. Rise up and take it. Rise up and take it. It's yours. It's yours. There's no doubt tonight. There's no doubt tonight. Freedom. Open your mouth. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Open your mouth. There's assurance tonight. There's answers to prayer tonight. Freedom from sin available tonight. Freedom from sickness available tonight. Freedom from all satanic affliction available tonight. There's assurance here tonight. Prayers have been answered. There's assurance here tonight. Sicknesses are moving away. There's assurance here tonight. All those sins are canceled and forgiven. There's assurance here tonight. Satanic afflictions are driven away. You're free. You're free. Free. Since the Son has set you free, you're free indeed. Free your soul. Free your spirit. Free your mind. Free your Christian life. Free your home. Free from all powers of darkness. Free from every problem that has been chasing you. Free. You're free. You're free. It's confirmed. You're free. It's confirmed. You're carrying that freedom back home. Deliverance, you're carrying that back home. Dominion, you're carrying that back home. The joy of answered prayer, you're carrying that back home. Victory over sin. Victory over sickness. Victory over Satan. That's yours. No doubt about it. You're free. That mountain will move away. That harassment of the enemy will move away. That bondage will be broken tonight. Yokes broken tonight. Curse taken away tonight. It's gone. It has come to pass. It has come to pass. No barrenness that's cancelled. No backwardness that's cancelled. No bitterness that's cancelled. The reeds are not pouring. It's yours. It's yours. The promise is unto you. The power is for you. The provision is for you. The partnership is for you. The protection is for you. The promotion is for you. The progress is for you. The prosperity is for you. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Take it as yours. The victory. The triumph. It's yours. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. And tonight is the night of fulfillment. Tonight is the night of fullness. Tonight is your night of freedom. 
mention that case before the Lord, the problems are solved. The yoke is broken. Mention it before the Lord. Say, Lord, here I am. It's done. It's done. You cannot fail. It's done. It's yours tonight. There is a confirmation of the promise, a confirmation of divine pronouncement. He said he will. And he said you'll not be ashamed anymore. Freedom, fruitfulness, fullness, abundance, sufficiency, healing, deliverance, dominion, triumph, power. Authority, yokes broken, prayers answered, mountains moving away. It shall come to pass, it shall come to pass. This is your night, all the sicknesses moving away. Sorrow gone, tears gone, depression gone, stress and distress gone, confusion gone, the conflict of the enemy, all that is gone. Rejoice because the Lord is doing a miracle in your life tonight. Mountains moving away tonight. Your very mountain moving away tonight. Incurable diseases healed tonight. Your yokes are broken. Your curses are removed. Bad luck gone. The answer is yours. The promise is yours. The provision is yours. Miracle for you tonight. Salvation for everyone tonight. Strength for everyone tonight. Divine ability for everyone tonight. Mercy for everyone tonight. Dominion, that's yours. Triumph, that's yours. Answers to prayer, that's yours. He cannot fail. He cannot fail. He is God. He is God. Thank Him now. Thank Him now. Thank Him now. Rejoice because tonight your prayer is answered.
Rejoice because your prayer is answered. You know that these signs shall follow you home. You know answers to your prayers will follow you home. You know the victory will follow you home. You know the miracle is following you home. Rejoice. What the Lord has started is going to finish. Rejoice. What the Lord has done is going to be permanent. Rejoice. There's a fulfillment of his pronouncement. Rejoice. That's a fulfillment of his proclamation. Rejoice. No failure. No doubting, no maybe, no perhaps, no question, no doubt, it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. I have got my miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. I am delivered. I am set free. I am free. I am full. I am fruitful. My mountains are gone. In Jesus' name we pray. Your answer has come from heaven. Your miracle has come from heaven. That miracle will follow you home. Healing will follow you home. Deliverance will follow you home. Power will follow you home. The anointing that breaks every yoke will follow you home. Assurance, assurance, assurance will follow you home. No more barrenness. No more barrenness. No more backwardness. No more bitterness. I got it. I got it. What is he? What is she? Rest up that hand. Father, in Jesus' name, you are the God that cannot fail. The God of all power. The God of all majesty. The God of all dominion. Your people one by one, every brother, every sister, every boy, every girl, they have each called upon you. And tonight, there's assurance of answered prayer. Confirm it in Jesus' name. All those who have been battling with one sin or the other, set them free. Set them free. From every struggle, set them free. From falling and rising, set them free. From doubts about their salvation, 
set them free. Let the spirit of the living God bear witness to us. Every heart now, your sins are forgiven. The peace of God has come. And victory has come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, no sickness will follow any of your children back home. Mountain of sickness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, the Lord is touching your body right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Every power of darkness, power of Satan, occultism, militating against, against your life, I cancel that in Jesus' name. Lord, bring everything in under their feet. March on them. March on them. I'm talking to you, march on them. On your problem, march on them. On those evil spirits, march on them. On the powers that torment you, march on them. You have the victory in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray every backwardness, you turn to forwardness. Barrenness to fruitfulness. Bitterness to sweet in Jesus' name. Wipe all their tears away. Take all the sorrows away. Set them free. Yeah. This is my brother here. Set him free. Yeah. This is my sister there. Set her free. Yeah. And I pray, Lord, all the bitterness of the past, sorrow of the past, heartache of the past, regrets of the past, crying of the past, wipe everything away in Jesus' name. Yeah. Fulfillment in every life. Joy in every life. Answer in every life. Miracle in every life. As your people go back home, power following you home. Peace following you home. Purity following you home. Protection following you home. Promotion following you home. Preservation, follow you home. Prosperity, follow you home. The power of the Holy Ghost, follow you home. Triumph, confidence, authority, anointing, assurance, joy unspeakable. Follow you home in Jesus' name. There's testimony in your mouth now. There's testimony in your mouth now. There is testimony in your mouth now. Lord, confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know it is done. It is done. It is done. And that amen will never stop in your life. Joy will never stop in your life. Hallelujah will never stop in your life. And clapping will never stop in your life. Power for you, in you, above you, around you, you will never fail or falter. A confirmation in your life. Assurance in your life. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord! Check up, check up, check up. Check up. Don't rush home, don't rush home. We are in Lagos. We are living in Lagos. Don't rush home. Check yourself. And if you have seen what God has done, please come to the choir seat uh, by my left hand side. Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. Our leaders are waiting for you at the choir seat. If you see what God has done, shout praise the Lord and come to my left hand side. Come to my left hand side here. Check yourself. 
There is a miracle in your body. There is a miracle in your case. There is a miracle in your situation. I'm not hearing your amen. I'm not hearing your amen. There is a miracle there between Jesus' name. So just check yourself, check yourself, and then come out to the choir seat here so that you can register your testimony and we see what the Lord has done for you. Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. A miracle is there. A miracle is there. And if you see what the Lord has done, give us a signal. Shout, praise the Lord. And come to the left, to my left-hand side here and uh, give your testimony. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Is it well with you? I believe. Check yourself. The Lord has visited you tonight. Is it well with you? I believe. Come to the choir seat. It is well with me, I believe. I say it is well with me. Keep checking yourself. We are waiting for you at the choir seat by my left hand side. I say it is well with me. checking yourself and come to the choir seat here to see our leader to register your testimony. Testimony time now. Online testimony. You want to listen to testimony from the online space. My name is Rosalind Warren. A little over 15 years ago, 
I started having abnormal bleeding. Two years ago, the intensity increased and uh, it started getting so bad that I felt that I needed to see a doctor. So I went to see a gynecologist and uh, I was asked to do a biopsy of my womb uh, to determine what was causing the, the bleeding. After the biopsy, the, the results came out that I had cervical cancer. That day was a terrible day for me because that was something I didn't expect at all. And um, I was very depressed, very disturbed about the news. Immediately, I, I was booked for operation to remove the womb. I went ahead with the operation. I did the operation in August last year. After the operation, the doctor said that the womb that was removed had to still be tested to see the extent of the cancer, to know whether the operation was sufficient for the cure. Uh, after the, the test was done again, after the operation, I was told that I still needed to do chemotherapy, that the operation was not sufficient. I started chemotherapy in October of last year, 2022, and uh, chemo is a horrible experience. The very first time I took that chemo, I was in a terrible, terrible pain. I lost my hair, my fingernails turned black. In fact, it disrupted every part of my body. And I was in real agony. In December, I now decided to ask the doctor to do the uh, test again. I did uh, a test again. I took the, the tissue block from the womb that was removed, took it to the lab in UNTH, and I was told to, that's the histology lab, I was told that um, there was no cancer. But my doctor was not convinced. In the meantime, after sending the tissue block to Ibadan, we had the crusade, uh, global crusade in February. I took the, the results of the, the lab results, the two results I had before. I raised it up to God. I was telling God, I said, God, I need a clean bill of health. I don't want to stop the chemo on my own. I want to be able to, I want the doctors to, to certify that I was whole and I didn't need chemo. To God be the glory, in that, in February, that February after the global crusade, I, I got the, the, the report from the pathologist in Ibadan who says they brought a result that showed that I had no cancer. I really bless God for the ministry of the man of God and I bless God for the global crusade that made a difference in my life. Praise the Lord. God has made a difference in your life. The next testimony. My name is Faderera. I live in Irewale, Shaki, Oyo State. For the past six years now, I I was unable to walk on myself. They they were carrying me uh, here and there, but I had last month I had of my uh, crusade, which was to take place at Bayesa State by um, Pastor Kumuyi. And they, um, our pastor brought um, satellites to my house, so I watched. On the third day, at the last amen, on that third day, I was able to walk. 
after the prayer of man of God, the final amen that I said. The final Clap, clap very well, clap very well. Okay, strike. I have here with me Pastor Jonathan Emeka. He will give his testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Jonathan Emeka. I'm from Mabro Group here in Lagos. I've been living with this peptic ulcer for more than 15 years. I've been experiencing terrible pain from here to my back. I took many medications, ulcer kit, claritromycin, name them, antacids. At times in the night, I would get up in the midnight and go and take antacids in order to be able to sleep because of the pain. This continued happening that way. But this last GCK, this, last, this one that just ended two days ago, the pain was so severe. I came before the Lord in that crusade. I said, God, if you can heal me this, because I've been living with this terrible pain, if I can get solution to this and healing, I will come and testify. It was on a Saturday evening, this last GCK. After, as usual, our Lord, our Father in the Lord will tell us to, to lay hands. I lay my hands and say, God, I want this thing to come to a final stop this night. And in fact, after that prayers, I got home that very night. By the following Sunday morning, I got up without that pain. Up till now, that pain has disappeared. And I believe it's disappeared forever. Praise the Lord. 18 years of peptic ulcer healed by the divine touch of God. Praise the Lord. The Lord. Please, all those who gave their lives to Christ, the sleep given to you, please make sure you submit them before you go. No matter, we now go online for more testimony. Follow me, my son, had a natural deformity threatening to cripple him. So we had to go for surgery, sometimes in August last year. And the doctor assured us, as if uh, something, <laughs> that after the surgery, something great will happen. But unfortunately, after the surgery, it was that we are regretting, why did we, <laughs> the thing was not, he could not work. So he, I was doing everything for him. He was just for four months, just on one on a particular statics. Dress him or can't do anything by himself. Dress him or wash him. So that was uh, Pastor Kumuyi Global Crusade in Akwaibon. 
Pentecostal last year. And we agreed we are going to be part of that crusade. Day one, nothing happened with praise God. So day two in the morning, because as I said, I, he could not, couldn't walk, or just sitting in one place. I dress him up, try to clean him, change him. And uh, my son told me, and he just said, ah, but Pastor Kumu, you said yesterday that. Lay your hand where you have the problem. Raise up the other hand. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know Christ has completely removed every curse from everyone. Open the eyes of the blind. Let the deaf hear. Let the lame rise up and walk. Get up and walk. And he acted it. Only two of us in the house, in the sitting room. And I was just watching as if, I, if this thing, I, what am I? I was scared. Let him not go and collapse. Throw the walker away. And uh, move like a gladiator. Not even, <laughs> he was not even pretend. He moved like, ah. I was say, ah, I was like, ah. So in the evening, we were at the crusade. Our people in the church were walking. They were wanting to be seen the walker because if they want, they notice him. Ah, they notice this boy. I say, ah. So the two day, ah, everybody was in the boy. I thank God. I thank Pastor Kumui, and I pray that the auction will not run dry. More auction to function, and I wish him heaven at last. His family, everyone, and last his ministry, success for life in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are clapping. Rise up and clap. Rise up and clap. Rise up and clap. Okay, sir, give us some. Deposited in your life. Amen. Close your eyes and begin to worship the Lord. Magnify Him. Exalt Him. This God is wonderful. This God is marvelous. He has started with us this year. 
the next one will be greater than this first one. And every month there will be a crescendo, a crescendo. By the time we get to December, you will look for trouble, you will not see trouble. When they say give your prayer request, you'll be giving testimony. Because they say, I don't, I don't know what to pray about again. Because I, don't, I look to my right, I look to my left, forward, back, everywhere. I am testimony enveloped. In Jesus' name we pray. Is that your amen? Give me amen of testimony. Father, we thank you for tonight. We are grateful. From the depth of our hearts, Daddy, we say thank you. We are asking, Lord, that these miracles you have made and deposited in our lives will make a loud noise. In our community, these miracles will make loud noise. As we get to the, our offices tomorrow, these miracles will make loud noise. In anywhere we go, this, in our family circle, our in-laws, our extended family, they will hear the loud noise of our miracles in Jesus' name. As we have started with us, this first outing for a greater, a greater miracle in the new Bagada. Father, we are asking it will crescend every month in Jesus' name. The next time is the third, third Thursday of this month. Lord, you will do greater things. We we'll bring your servant before you, take him to higher ground. That Lord, the third one, the third Thursday, when we, it will come here again. We pray, Lord, that even while the prayer is still going on, there will be shout everywhere. As we go home now, let your presence go with us. Thank you, Father. We say glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Give me the final amen for tonight. No, that's not loud enough. Give me a very loud amen. God bless you. Save Johnny back home.